Hi, hello children. Happy day to all. I am very happy to meet you in this session. It is very nice and pleasant to see you. Yes, it is full of greenish. Who am I? Yes, I am a tree. Today in this class, I am going to say a story about a kind and helpful tree. Before that, in the last class, you learned about the different types of plants that is herbs, shrubs, climbers, creepers and trees. And today we are going to learn about the habitat of plants. What is the meaning of habitat? The place where we live. The two main types of habitat are water and land. Plants that live in water are called aquatic plants and plants that live in land are called terrestrial plants. Aquatic plants, plants that live in river, sea, lakes, ponds, oceans and streams. Plants live in forest, desert, grasslands, mountains or terrestrial plants. What are the things we get from trees? We get all our necessary essential things from trees. Yes, we get wood. From wood, we make furnitures and we use the wood to make fire. From trees, we get paper and all our food items, fruits, vegetables, cereals, pulses, everything we get from trees and we get rubber from trees. Herbs like tulsi, aloe vera, neem, we get the medicinal values. What are the importance of trees? Trees gives many things to us without any expectations. You see this picture, trees provide medicines, provides fruits, remove carbon dioxide and reduce erosion, cools our houses and it add oxygen and prevents flooding. So without trees, there is no life for us. Okay, all these informations are very interesting, isn't it? Now, do you like to help someone? Yes, we like to help our friends, our family members or relatives, isn't it? How do you feel when you help someone? Really, we feel happy. Do you share your things with others? So, sometimes we share our things and sometimes we do not share our things. Yes, here is a story about a tree. This story has a powerful message about friendship and being selfless as well as being kind to others. Yes, today we are going to listen a story, The Giving Tree. In your book, the Unit 7 Pros, The Giving Tree. The Giving Tree is written by Shell Silverstein. Have you heard about Shell Silverstein? Yes. He was born on September 25, 1930 in Chicago and began writing and drawing at a young age. His books have been commended for their appeal to both adults and children. A cartoonist, playwright, poet, performer and recording artist, Silverstein was also a Grammy winning and Oscar nominated songwriter. Silverstein died at age 68 of heart attack in Key West, Florida. So in this story, we are going to listen about the sacrifice of a tree. So who are the characters in the story? A boy and a tree. Are you all ready to enjoy this story? Yes. Once there was a tree. The tree loved a little boy. Little boy usually visit the tree and enjoy its company. They both become a friend. The tree felt very happy when the boy visited the tree. The boy climbed on the tree and he swung on the branches. He plucked all the leaves and made a crown and played with that. So here is the story for you. Just listen. The tree welcomed the boy and asked him to swing from his branches. The boy felt very happy and he had a lot of fun. The tree gave its apples to the boy to eat. The boy ate the apple and was very tasty and delicious. The boy took rest under the tree. The tree was very happy to give its shade. The boy grew older 
and he went away from that place. After some years, the boy returned to that place. The tree was very happy to see that boy. He asked the boy to climb and play, but the boy said that he grew older and it was difficult to him to climb on the tree. The boy said to the tree that he wanted some money. The tree said, I am very sorry, I do not have money, but I have only the apples. The boy plucked the apples and sold them in the market and he went away from that place. The boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was very sad without seeing him. After some years, the boy returned to that place. Again, the tree was very happy to see that boy. The tree asked the boy to climb on his trunk and swung on its branches. The boy said that he needed a house for his wife and children. So immediately the tree asked the boy to cut its branches and made a house for him. After cut the branches, the tree was very happy, but the boy stayed away for a long time. And this time also the tree was very sad. When he came back after some years, the tree was so happy that it could hardly speak. Now the boy was a man. This time the tree asked him, what could I do for you? The man said that he was going for a business trip and he needed a boat. The tree said to the boy to cut his trunk and made a boat. The boy made a boat and sailed away from that place. Now what was remaining in the tree? Only that stump path. And after a long time, man came back again. Now how was he? He was an old man, but the tree recognized him. The tree said that he had nothing left to give him. He did not have the apples and he did not have the branches and he did not have the trunk. The old man said that he did not have the teeth and he became very old. He could not swing on the branches. Now he was very tired and he needed to take rest. Now the tree said to the old man, dear friend, I had only stump, sit down on it. The old man did the same thing and this time also the tree was very happy. Do you all enjoy this story? Yes. Now let us read the lesson. The giving tree. How do you feel when you help someone? How do you feel when you share your things with others? Read this play to know how a tree feels when it helps a boy. So the narrator narrates the story and it is a conversation between a tree and a boy. Yes, check your pencil and your book. Start to read along with me. Once there was a tree and it loved a little boy. Every day the boy would visit the tree and enjoy its company. Come here my boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. Ha! Huh, what fun! Are you hungry? Eat my apples. How delicious! When the boy was tired, he slept under the tree. The tree was happy to give it shade. But time went by and the boy grew older and went away. The tree was often alone. After some years, one day the boy came to the tree and the tree was very happy. Come my boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches. I am too big to climb and play. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I am sorry, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. You can pluck my apples and sell them in the market. Then you will have money. The boy happily plucked the apples and carried them away. The tree was also happy. 
But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. One day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. Come boy, come and climb up my trunk. Swing from my branches, eat my apples, play in my shade and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees. I am getting married and I need a house for my family and children. Can you give me a house? I have no house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. So the boy cut off the tree's branches and carried them away to build a house. The tree was very happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad again. And when he came back after some years, the tree was so happy that it could hardly speak. Now the boy was a young man. Come boy, come, what can I do for you? I am going on a business trip. I want a boat to take me away. Can you give me a boat? All I have left is a trunk. Cut down my trunk and make a boat. Then you can sail away. The young man cut the trunk of the tree and sailed away in a boat. The tree was left only with a stump. And after a long time, the young man came back again. Now he was an old man, but the tree recognized him. I am sorry, friend, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples. My branches are gone. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches. My trunk is gone. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb. I am sorry. I wish that I could give you something. But I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. Dear tree, you have always given. But now I don't need much. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting on. Come friend, sit down and rest. The old man did. And the tree was still happy. This story was adapted from The Giving Tree by Shell Silverstein. Have you all enjoyed this story children? Yes. Now write some describing words for the tree and the boy. Write about the traits of the boy and the tree. So how was the tree? It was very helpful, friendly, lovable, caring, protecting. Now how was the boy? He was very silly, childish, selfish. Yes. So write the character traits of the boy and the tree. And next one for you. Have you all read the story? Yes. What are the parts of the tree that the boy enjoyed? Label these parts and the spaces provided. Yes. For the leaves, he used to make a crown. The next one is fruits. Yes, he ate the fruits when he was hungry. And next one, branches. So he cut the branches to build a house. And last one, which part he used? Yes, last one is trunk. So he cut the trunk to make a, yes, very good, absolutely correct. So that is boat. So the, the tree gave all its parts to the boy to fulfill his needs. Yes, next one, we will go to the new words. First one, swing. So what is the meaning of swing? To move back and forth. Yes, say a sentence for swing. Children love to swing in the playground. And next one, yes, what is that? Delicious. Delicious means it's very tasty or delightful. My mother makes delicious cakes. And next one, pluck. So what is the meaning of pluck? To quickly remove. So you, when you see the flowers, if it is very nice to see, what will we do immediately? We will pluck the flowers. To quickly 
re remove that is the meaning of pluck. So, write a sentence for it do not pluck flowers in the garden or in the park. And next one trip what is the meaning of trip a journey the trip to Chennai by bus was very tiring. And next one recognized the tree recognized the boy when he became old is not it or not. Yes, what is the meaning of recognized to identify someone to identify someone when you have seen before I recognize my friend after 10 years and next one find who am I yes I carry a baby plant inside me can you guess who am I yes very good seed I bear branches so which part bear branches yes very good trunk I have seeds inside me yes you all enjoy to eat that one it is very tasty and delicious what is that fruit yes very good I fix the plant firmly to the soil so which part is called feet of the plant yes very right that is correct root and the last one I am the food factory of the plant so which part prepares the food leaf yes absolutely correct so food factory of the plant is called leaf yes very good nice children and one more activity for you so here are some words in the boxes try to make a meaningful sentences by connecting the words in horizontal and vertical lines yes so I did two for you it rains often during monsoon tropical fan live where the water is always warm so we can find some more also he always did his homework he never earned bad grades and then birds usually fly by gliding or flapping their wings yes it's very interesting to make the sentences isn't it yes try to make some more sentences now circle the word ended with ly the woman joyously shouted aloud the boy foolishly talked back to his teacher i barely finished my test on time the boy walked dangerously close to the edge the girl clumsily walked to her seat so what are the words that ended with ly yes joyously foolishly barely dangerously and clumsily very good yes children so what are these words are when we do the first exercise loud silent slow happy neat what are these these words are describing words when we add ly to this so it totally changed so these words describes about the verb loudly loudly describes about the verb so when it a word that it describes a verb that is called adverb not only the verb an adjective or another adverb so this loudly silently slowly happily neatly these are all adverbs when we add ly to that adjective we get adverb and here are some words for you to know about that adjective yes clever when we add ly to that adjective we get cleverly new newly quick quickly slow slowly far fairly sweet sweetly careful carefully sufficient sufficiently and some adverbs do not end with ly for example fast hard very almost quite twice soon always never these are all also adverbs but these adverbs do not end with ly now match the adjectives to their corresponding adverbs yes slow 
careful, quick, happy, good, dangerous. Yes, slow, slowly, careful, carefully, quick, quickly, happy, happily, for good, the adverb is will, dangerous, dangerously. And look at the pictures and complete the sentences with the adverbs from the previous activity. So, what is in that picture? Tortoise. So, how does the tortoise walk? It walks slowly. And next to van, he drives the car dangerously. She sings well. She reads quickly. I do my homework carefully. He jumps happily. Yes. Uh, yes. So, you have learned about the importance of trees and what you have to do? Make a posture about the importance of trees and here are some postures examples for you. Just go through it. Take an A4 sheet paper, draw your own idea and color it. Write a slogan about to save the trees. Yes, I hope that you all enjoy this session. Take care. Bye-bye.